Let's talk about mining kryptonite and kryptonite light coins with ASICs. Recently, you've probably heard that coins like Electronium have decided to go back to the kryptonite algorithm, which is currently uh, controlled by ASIC miners. Now, if any of you have ever watched uh, at least a single video of mine, you probably already know that I am a GPU miner at heart. And I want to state this. I am anti-ASIC, but that's my personal belief. I'm also a businessman, I'm also an investor, and I understand this technology's place in the crypto scene. So with that said, sometimes personal beliefs, sometimes um, my personal outlook uh, can get in the way of good business decisions. No matter what your point of view, for or against ASICs, one fact remains. With enough distributed hash power on a given network, the network is more stable, the transactions are more fluid. But this video is not about my personal belief uh, or anyone else's. This is meant to be in an uh, formative video uh, where my YouTube channel and my followers uh, on the YouTube channel are generally interested in uh, the kryptonite uh, algorithm as a whole uh, the kryptonite coins that particular segment or that scene of the cryptocurrency space so regardless of how I personally feel and again there is bias there because I am a GPU guy regardless of how I personally feel uh, my best interest uh, needs to lie with good business practices and uh, my followers here on the the YouTube channel so I want to be able to present um, as non-biased as possible information that you can use to help you uh, in the crypto space and if you're interested in uh, the kryptonite uh, coins or the kryptonite variant coins uh, then this video should serve to help you make a little better informed decision uh, on what coins you can mine uh, what variants you can mine and also what miners are available to you if you decide to run ASIC machines. Alright, so this is not a comprehensive list, but I did want to at least talk about some of the coins that if you're interested in purchasing a ASIC or if it's the other way around and you are interested in these coins, uh, you will need to purchase ASICs to be uh, quote-unquote profitable or competitive on the network. Okay, so as you can see here, um, most of what we're going to be talking about is the kryptonite or kryptonite light, and let me repeat, version 1, not version 7. So you cannot mine kryptonite light v7 or kryptonite uh, v7 or any of the other variants out there. Uh, this is specifically for kryptonite and kryptonite light. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, uh, as you can see, this list hasn't been updated uh, since the recent move for Electronium. Uh, it still says kryptonite V7, which is not the case anymore. That was the old algorithm. It uh, will be changed to kryptonite by itself. Um, so currently, um, networks like Electronium, uh, Sumo Coin, Dero, um, Dynasty Coin, uh, these guys are all uh, 
basically run by the ASIC miners. Alright, so as you can see, there's plenty to choose from here. Uh, whatever your flavor is of kryptonite, um, there's plenty to choose from. Okay, This is not a video where we speculate on price or profitability or anything else, so I'm not going to get into any of that in this video. Um, just want to hopefully educate the community, some of the folks that may not be aware of um, you know, the different ASIC miners out there available for the kryptonite chain. Uh, that's really what this is about. So again, uh, I'm not going to get into, I might talk about power usage and the hash rate uh, and the price, uh, but obviously it's up to you to make a decision, um, you know, which one of these miners suit your needs. But um, most people have generally heard of, if they've done any research at all, the company Bitmain. And Bitmain produces a device called an Antminer X3, which is specifically for the kryptonite algorithm. As you can see, the power consumption is 550 watts and the factory kilohash, uh, which is the speed of the miner, uh, is 220 kilohash. So 220 kilohash, that is uh, with this particular miner, I have seen as high as uh, 320s, uh, I think 327. Uh, one article that I was reading, uh, 327 kilohash. So they can, some of these devices can be overclocked. Okay, so that goes to the efficiency of the miner. As you overclock the machine, uh, the power consumption is going to go up. So, again, efficiency of the miner, but um, not going to discuss that right now, maybe a, a video in the future. All right, so this particular device, um, currently on Bitmain's website, uh, it's sold out, and it also shows $12,000. When these first came out, um, they come out in batches normally, so you basically pre-order these. Uh, now that they're out, um, you can get them secondhand. Uh, places like uh, I've seen them, Bitcoin Talk, um, people trying to peddle them, uh, Facebook, um, eBay, uh, various places on the on the web that you can source these from. People that have used them, people that bought a bunch of them and never used them, um, just search around. Uh, and you can probably find um, most of these that I'm going to go through with you today. And, and I want to go ahead and put this disclaimer out here. I'm going to go through the ones that I know about. Uh, there may be additional devices out there that I'm unaware of. So this is uh, as comprehensive of a list as I could come up with. Okay. So this is the one that uh, a lot of people have heard about. Bitmain Antminer X3. Another one out there is the Dragon Mint X1 and X2. Okay, you can see the price here. And guys, I'm going to put uh, links uh, to all of these pages in the description below. So if you want to go check this stuff out yourself, knock yourself out. All right, so this is the Dragon Mint by Heilong Mining. And you can see here that it is 124 kilohash at only 245 watts. Okay, kryptonite coins. All right, so let's go look at the X2. There's the X1 that we just looked at, and here is the X2. Dragon Mint X2. ASIC miner 248 kilohash and this is 248 kilohashes at 490 watts again a lot of these devices can be overclocked uh, I'm not familiar with Dragon Mint but I know the X3 can be overclocked uh, I'm assuming most of them can but with that overclock comes generally Increase power consumption as well as um, increased heat and essentially in the long term um, more wear and tear on the device. 
okay? It's like overclocking any of your uh, computer components, more heat, more power, and uh, possibility to damage them long run. So do that at your own risk. All right, so Dragon Mint X1 and X2 miners. Let's look at uh, Inosilicon. They have the A8 Plus, which is, if you're starting to see a reoccurring theme here, 240 kilohashes. And as you can see here, it's 480 watts uh, with their PSU. All right. All right. The next one is the PR200, and this is a kryptonite miner, and this is an old, this is an old uh, article. Obviously, you can uh, just type in or copy and paste this into a web browser and do a search. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the link below, but uh, this is just one of the one of the places that I found online uh, that looks like you can purchase it. Uh, never done any business with these, so uh, none of these companies I've done business with, so uh, do this at your own risk. Um, I have no personal experience with any of them uh, or the companies that sell them. All right, so this guy does kryptonite and the kryptonite light algorithm, maximum hash rate of 55 kilohashes for a power consumption of 350 watts and if you remember just a minute ago um, you can probably do the math and realize that this is, this is not quite as efficient as the other miners that we've already talked to not only from a speed standpoint but a power usage standpoint all right by Cal uh, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but Baikal uh, makes a couple different miners. Let's go through them. Uh, the first one they, that they came out with was the BK-N. This is the BKN uh, Plus. All right, so the BKN, I believe, originally came out with 20 kilohashes on the kryptonite algorithm and 40 on the kryptonite light. So basically they've doubled and it looks like they just doubled the amount of chips, to be honest with you, because I, I believe the first version, uh, the N, was, please correct me if I'm wrong, around 65, 60 watts, something like that, uh, or 70 watts. It was something very low. I believe you could actually power it with a laptop power supply. Um, I believe that was the first iteration. So as you can see here, 130 watts, 40 kilohashes on the on the kryptonite, the regular kryptonite, and then the kryptonite light basically essentially doubles it. That's what they say. Okay. So let's go to the products page, and they came out with a BKN70. It says it's currently sold out. Kryptonite and kryptonite light algos. This is $650. Um, from them, but it is sold out. 70 kilohashes at 220 watts and 140 kilohashes, respectively, uh, on the kryptonite kryptonite light at 220 watts. Okay, so you can see what these guys look like. There's plenty of videos on the web. Um, if you look up these model names, I'm sure there's other YouTubers that have purchased these and have tested them. So uh, definitely go check that out after this video. All right. And then this is the big boy from Baikal. And this guy is the BKN240. Kryptonite, Kryptonite Light. And shows seventeen hundred dollars, roughly sixteen ninety nine. And this does two hundred and forty kilohashes. So well, I'll get back to that in a minute. At six hundred and fifty watts and four eighty on kryptonite light, at six hundred and thirty watts. Seems to be a pretty, um, you know, pretty reoccurring theme here. Um, you know, 
most of these are probably um, just like any other technology most of these are probably based on the same chips um, so there's only so far that they can drive them um, just about every one that we've seen has a 240 kilohash miner okay so uh, basically it's just a different flavor um, and a different company it's kind of like buying hot dogs at the store uh, you can get your name brand, you can get your off brand, still a hot dog. Some of them may taste a little different, look a little different, uh, but they still accomplish the same thing. You put them in a bun and put your condiments on and uh, eat it. So, all right. So that's basically it, guys. I, I just wanted to go through a list of the different miners so you know and you are aware fully of what's out there. Again, there may be more. Um, but this was just a quick video to introduce you if you are interested in mining electronium or one of the many other kryptonite or kryptonite light coins uh, what you have available to you so you don't think there's just one possibility you can go do research yourself I strongly suggest it if you like my content please hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell uh, that way you can see as soon as I make a new video, uh, especially if it's uh, a live stream or something, something else, you can be a part of that. Um, but thank you very much again, and everybody have a great day, night, or wherever you're at in the world.